How you doing folks? Just on to answer a few wee questions here on our current Carrick squad and my time at Carrick. The first question, best dressed, I'll go for struggling here. Big Jamesy Ferns, pretty smartly dressed. Not over the top, but uh, aye, looks after himself. Uh, worst dressed, no. A lot of candidates here. Mickey Smith thinks you can wear a pair of tracksuit bottoms with a shirt and tie, um, so definitely a candidate. Dan Kelly, horrendous DM boots with chinchilla fur jacket. So between those two, probably give it to Dan. Dan's more bad clothes than Mickey. Mickey just has less clothes, or else he would be worse dressed. Best trainer, Lloyd Anderson. Gives everything in training, scores goals in training, finishes well in training. Reese Neil also trains very well. Go for Lloyd Anderson, best trainer. Worst trainer or doesn't train? Uh, Wally Faulkner. Wally thinks when you get to 30 that you don't have to train anymore. When he does train, he's good, but just doesn't train that much. Uh, best player I've played with? Michael Smith when I was at Ballymena. Right back, right midfield. Went on to have a very good career in England and Scotland and internationally. Smashing player. Technically very good. No weaknesses. A winner. Just got better and better and better every year he was at Ballymena. And then eventually got his move across to Peterborough. Smashing person, smashing lad and a smashing footballer. Gary McCutcheon when I was at Ballymena. Hutchie was on unbelievably technically good and the year the year he won the writers uh, player of the year in the league top goal scorer unbelievable goals he scored all types of goals touch the influence he had in the team smashing but michael smith definitely is an all-round player who's been on to do great things definitely michael smith best player played against look at them phil jamie mulgrew consistently over the years has just been i think outstanding and you notice never limfield don't have a jamie mulgrew in the team they're a much weaker side in my opinion toughest opponent davy rating for crusaders has a as a Defender. Uh, Davy Rainey had everything and he had the work rate to match it and taught me my first lesson in football uh, as a centre half. And Roy Walker said, just do not let him go onto his left foot. I went to shoot with his right and I bought it hook, line, and sinker. And he checked back onto his left and bent a thing in from 20 yards at Balmina Showgrounds 10 years ago. And I got a rollicking after the match for letting him do it. That showed the skill level that Davy had as well as unbelievable work rate. Head of ball, both feet, just did not give you a minute. When you walked out onto the pitch and he was against you and you, I'm in for a game. Best have played against the all-round package in Irish League, Jimmy McGrew. Toughest opponent definitely as a defender was Davy Rainey. Most skillful? Well, there's not a lot of challengers here uh, for this one at Carrick. Great bunch of lads, we work really hard. A lot of players have a lot of great technical ability, but skill-wise... Um, Kyle Cherry's got a great turn, uses his arse, rolls you outside of the boot, loves it, it works very well. He would definitely be up there. Mickey Smith's got a great turn, can do down the inside, even though you know it's coming, and deceptively fast at doing what he does, but he's no right peg, so that's not a big problem. <laughs> just hope just keep him close to the line. I'd go Kyle Cherry for that one. Uh, Club Joker, definitely Michael Smith. Always up to something, or up to nothing. Um, Mickey's constantly trying to wiggle his way out of something or get into somebody's bag or wind somebody up or annoy somebody, including the gaffer. Real love-hate relationship there. Or even keeping Jim going the physio or winding up Andy Hunter, taking a hissy fit in the pitch. I'm sure it frustrates Cliff Angel and Mac. He actually came out with Huggy's air cast on one night to try and get out of training to say he couldn't train that he'd been day and e. Uh, Mickey Smith, definitely the club joker, keeps everybody happy. Be good lad, gives us all a laugh, probably to his own detriment because he gets in trouble with the, the coaching staff and the manager. Definitely a good laugh, Mickey Smith. Biggest moaner, yeah, Mickey. Loyalty card with NE, and everyone must know about all his problems that are going on. Teacher's pet, definitely Kyle Cherry. Gaffers are real liking for Kyle. Takes him, I think he's paid for him for a couple of teams. Uh, Kyle, definitely teacher's pet. And the gaffer makes no bones about it. He, everyone's well aware that Kyle is the teacher's pet. Willie Fulton's a close second too. He likes the boys that he's managed before. They would be the teacher's pet. My best moment at Carrick, probably my best one, would be staying up that year in the last, just because of the drama of the game. Surreal. Um, still like hearing about it. Every time I see a video, come up with a reminder of it. Always watch it. Amazing. And then last year getting promoted. I think people might have expected us to get promoted. And then our start we had, people have thought, oh, Carrick's going to struggle. And then the run we went on and to take it into the playoff final was absolutely amazing. And um, Two great memories, the staying up and the getting promoted. Amazing. Amazing times. And that's everything from me. Look forward to hearing from who's next. Well, Good luck.